I'm going to show you how to use pass-through in your VR application for the Oculus Quest. Now if you don't know what pass-through is, it's a feature that Oculus introduced that allows the user to look at their surrounding while they have the headset on. So if we combine that with Unity, we can build applications where we allow the user to place objects in their environment and also interact with it from their VR application. So if you want to learn how to do that, please stick around until the end. To start off, we have a new Unity project and an empty scene. And we also imported the Oculus integration package. After that, we're going to go to File, Build Settings, and we want to make sure our platform is set to Android and our scene is in the build. And then from there, we're going to go to Player, make sure the color space is linear, and give it some time to switch if it's not already on linear. And then from there, Scripting Backend, we're going to change that to IL2CPP. And then we're going to disable ARM v7 and enable ARM64. Then we want to make sure our XR plugin management is installed and it's on Oculus and initialized on startup. After that, we're going to go to Oculus tools and make sure the OVR utilities plugin is set to open XR. And if it asks you to restart Unity, then go ahead and do that. And then from there, we're going to go to window, rendering and lighting, go to environment and then delete the skybox material and the sun source. So we want to have none for both. Next up, we're going to search the OVR camera rig and we're going to import the prefab into our scene. The first thing we want to go ahead and do is set the tracking origin type to stage. And then we're going to go down, make sure pass through capability is enabled and then enable pass through as well. Then we want to add the OVR pass through layer component and set it to underlay composition depth to one and leave it as is. Next up, we want to go under to central eye anchor and then go to the background and make sure it's all zeros or the color is black and alpha is also zero. After that, we want to add some controllers to our camera rig. So we're going to search up OVR controller prefab, add one to the left hand anchor and then another one to the right hand anchor. Then under each one of them, we're going to select left touch and then right touch respectively. We're now ready to go and test in our headset and see how pass-through works. Now that we're in the headset, we can see that when our application loads, we have pass-through enabled and we can see our surroundings. Now we only have the basic controllers for this video just for simplicity reasons, but you can use any of the techniques that we've had in previous videos such as object grabbing and hand tracking and more, just like you would with any other VR application. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you like next or if you have any feedback. Thank you for watching.